In this video, we're talking about how to find the volume of a right rectangular prism. And when we say right rectangular prism, again, we're just talking about a three-dimensional object where all sides of the objects are rectangles. It could be that a right rectangular prism is a cube where all sides of the object are squares, and that would be a perfect cube. But sometimes the faces aren't squares, they're rectangles instead. And in that case, it's just a right rectangular prism. We put in right here to indicate that we have 90 degrees degree angles at the corners of all faces of the prism. So we're dealing with this three-dimensional object here, and the formula we need to remember is actually really simple. The volume of a figure like this one is always length times width times height. So if we say this is the width, this is the length, and this is the height, to find the volume we just multiply the width by the length by the height. Sometimes we're going to be given the square area of the base. The base is the bottom face of the figure, and sometimes we're given just the area of that face and then the height. In that case, we just multiply the base by the height, and we can get volume that way as well. So these are really simple examples here. If I want to look at the first example, I've been told that the area of the base is 7 square centimeters and that the height is 5 centimeters. So I know the area of the bottom, I know the height is 5, my volume formula tells me that I just multiply the base, the area of the base, times the height. So I'm going to say volume is equal to 7 times 5 or 35 centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. When we give volume, we give cubic units. When we give area, we give square units. When we give length, we just give first degree units. So it's five centimeters long, it's seven square centimeters of area, it's 35 cubic centimeters of volume. Same thing here with this example. The area of the base is nine square centimeters. The height is six centimeters. So my volume is going to be nine times six or 54 cubic centimeters. What about when I'm given length, width, and height separately? Well, I could multiply the length by the width to find the base, and then multiply the area of the base by the height to get volume, or I can just say volume is equal to 5 times 7 times 2. 5 times 7 is 35, 35 times 2 is 70, so I'm going to say 75, and in this case we'll just do units cubed because they didn't specify inches or feet or centimeters or any measurement, so we'll just say cubic units. If I look at the last example, I'm told that the length is one half, the width is two thirds, and the height is one. Again, I just want to multiply all three of those together, so I'm going to say one half times two thirds times one. I can see right away that I'm going to be able to cancel a two from the numerator and denominator. Multiplying by one doesn't change the value of the identity here, so all I'm left with then is a volume of one third We'll say cubic units or units cubed because, again, the units aren't specified. And that's how you find the volume of a right rectangular prism.